Good evening, afternoon. I'm Mitch. This is Candid at the Movie. And today I'll be reviewing the Netflix movie, The Adam Project, starring Ryan Reynolds, Jennifer Garner, Zoe Saldana, and Mark Ruffalo. Pretty much the Marvel time movie. Everybody's a part of Marvel now. So, The Adam Project is a story about time travel where a kid who lost his father about a year ago runs into his future self who is trying to save the future world from being dominated by a dictator who stole a project his dad was working on. Um, the person, you know, he's trying to stop them from coming from the future back to the past to make changes, you know, stop the butterfly effect. Um, overall, this movie was, I, this was, it was a pretty good movie. I wasn't, I wasn't upset. I wasn't disappointed. Um, had quite a few bit of action. Um, Ryan Reynolds is Ryan Reynolds in all his movies and he does a great job at being Ryan Reynolds in his movie. I thought the kid actor did very well at being a child version of Ryan Reynolds. Um, he had he had a pretty good cast with you know Jennifer Garner playing the the his Ryan Reynolds younger self's mom and Zoe Saldana playing his girlfriend from the future. Storyline did very well just watching him you know go back and forth with his younger self about who he is and who he should be and what's going on with the future. Um, and Mark Ruffalo, of course we call him the Hulk around here, um, he plays Ryan's dad from the past. Um, story kept me kept me interested the whole time. It wasn't, it wasn't too long, which is a good thing because nowadays movie, every movie is three hours to three and a half hours. It's like, Goodness, not every story takes that long, but it was it was definitely it, it had enough time to tell a story, keep you intrigued, and you know if you like Ryan Reynolds, it's a good movie. You'll like it. Um, I didn't see too many, no bad acting, so everybody did pretty good. I couldn't complain. Um, if I was to give it a score, this would probably be a B in my book. Um, nothing to really run home and tell mom about. But it wasn't nothing I was disappointed if you, you know, just looking for something to watch. This is something you can watch and you wouldn't be, you wouldn't be upset about it. You don't feel like you're wasting your time. Yeah. So overall, yeah, I gave it an overall B. Um, definitely something I would check out if you got the time. Uh, what I definitely recommend is for you to hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Mash that notification bar. And comment down below. Let me know what's your favorite Ryan Reynolds movie. And if you've seen the movie, what you overall thought about it. Um, well, once again, my name was Mitch. This is Candidate at the Movies. And y'all have a great day.